Hello friends, welcome to a new vlog. Today is Wednesday, I think it's April 4, but I'm not entirely sure. And it is right around 8 a.m. I believe. Yes, right around 8 a.m. And my mom is coming over pretty soon. She's gonna be here around 8.30. And then we are going to go have a girls' day, um, mostly of just running errands and stuff, so nothing too exciting. But we are going to the outlet mall to look for um, some stuff for like upcoming bridal showers and the like, like bridal wedding type stuff. Decided to sit down because I like to talk. Um, but yeah, so we're doing that today. I haven't been to the outlet mall in forever, so I'm really excited to go, and I don't think my mom has actually ever been before to this one. So that will be super fun. And um, then I think what we're gonna do is maybe grab some lunch, and then we're gonna pick up my wedding dress because I got a phone call the other day that it came in. So that's really exciting. So I'm gonna go pick that up. Um, I might vlog a little bit in there, but I'm not gonna show my dress still. I've been like super low key about my dress. Like I've shown like pretty much everybody I've talked to um, about my wedding. Like if they ask to see it, I just show it to them. Like I'm not weird about it. Like I don't feel like I need to like keep it secret or anything, but I don't feel like I should post it on YouTube either. I feel like that's like a little bit far even for me. Um, so I'm not gonna post it on here until after the wedding because I feel like my eyebrows look weird. I don't like realize these things till I look in a camera. I feel like my eyebrows are not the same shape today. I might need to fix that real quick. Um, but anyways, I know that Chris watches my videos and I just don't really want him to see the dress like beforehand. So anyways, that's why I haven't showed it on here, but I am pretty open about it like otherwise. So if you ever see me in person and you want to see a picture of it, let me know and I will show you. <laughs> but anyways, um, I am excited for today. Yesterday was actually a really good day too. I didn't vlog yesterday because I did kind of vlog, but I vlogged some clips that I'm hoping I can put on my main channel, fingers crossed. I edited a video for my main channel and uploaded it and I think I'm going to have that go live today. So that was really productive. It's like a wedding update video. So if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. It'll probably be up before this video is, I would think. So go hit that up. Um, it's very similar to some of the things I've shown over here, though. So honestly, it's stuff that you guys on the vlog squad probably already know, but still watch it if you'd like to. Um, so yeah, I did that yesterday. I hung out with Diana, which was super fun, and we filmed some clips for hopefully a video that I'm going to upload pretty soon. Um, my camera battery is flashing, so I'm going to change that really quick, and then I will We'll get back to you okay I'm back with the new battery also I looked at my brows in the mirror while I was downstairs and they look normal in the mirror so I'm hoping the camera's just playing tricks on me I don't really know but I'm not gonna worry about it because I'd rather look normal in person than on camera so anyways um so yesterday was a good day I got to hang out with Diana which was super fun we filmed some clips for a video and took pictures and um, that was really fun. She taught me how to like edit my pictures better because I don't really know how to do any of that So she taught me basically how to like step up my Instagram game So I'm really excited about that. It was so much fun every time she taught me something. I was like, oh my gosh This is amazing. Like how did I not know this? So that was really really fun then I got a comment on Instagram and I won a giveaway that I entered for all time low tickets. So Melissa and I are going to go see all time low tomorrow night, which I'm so excited about because we wanted to go anyways, but neither of us had bought tickets yet and we were like still debating if we were going to go and we probably wouldn't have gone um, if we hadn't been like chosen to win tickets, but I won tickets, so we're going. I'm so excited. I've seen them twice before, two or three times, um, but when I was in middle school, so I was like a teeny little tot, and now I get to see them, and I'm all grown up, and I'm so excited. It's gonna be so fun. I'm gonna have so many like flashbacks to last time I saw them, um, so I'm super pumped. So that'll be really, really fun, and then also, this is kind of random, and I can't really remember if I've talked about this on this channel or not, but... I have been debating for a while getting a part-time job on top of substitute teaching like once I graduate and I'm a little bit stressed right now and maybe you guys can tell in some of my vlogs I'm not like stressed stressed but I'm like on the verge of being stressed because I am getting married in a few months and everything is like coming at once and my parents are helping me a lot and I'm so blessed that my parents are helping me with wedding stuff because otherwise it would just be impossible so my parents are helping me a lot but I'm the type of person, I don't like getting help from people, like, monetarily. And I've always been that way. I just don't like that. 
Um, and like so my parents are helping and like that's fine Like I love that they're helping and I love that they love me so much and Chris so much that they like want to have this great big party for us basically our wedding um, But I don't want them to have to pay for every single thing like that stresses me out And I've already paid for some things and I've gotten some things for free like through working with companies um, So like that's really good But like as far as like my bridesmaid gifts and stuff like that Like I don't want my parents to pay for that stuff like I just feel like that's something I should pay for so I feel a little bit stressed because I'm like running out of money that I have saved up basically because I saved a bunch of money from when I worked at Big B but then I've been paying like bills and stuff over the past few months and obviously that adds up in like tuition and stuff and then also I have to take my MTTC still and I have two different tests which that's like my Michigan teacher certification test of some sort I think that's what it stands for um but I have to take two different ones and they're $130 each and like it's just every little thing like adds up so quickly and like even just um for graduation I still need to get like my robe and my grad cap and stuff and like that adds up like it's just all these small things like one after another and then as you guys know like I'm Melissa's maid of honor and she's my maid of honor so we have like bridal showers coming up and stuff and I want to throw like a kick butt bridal shower but I'm like balling on a budget so um I just felt like like I needed to get a part-time job even on top of the subbing that I'm gonna start doing once I graduate because I just need an extra flow of income like I'm just gonna be honest with you guys like I just needed something extra to feel comfortable not to pay the bills necessarily like I'm doing fine on paying the bills but like for that extra like disposable cash I guess so I was trying to think of something that I could do mostly nights and weekends and I really did not want to do something where I'd have to rely on tips because I've worked those jobs before and those are very demanding jobs for me I just wanted something that was chill something that honestly was not a lot of work but I could have fun and like interact with people and maybe get like a discount somewhere so I was trying to think of like something in retail but I'm like what is only gonna have me work nights and weekends like retail typically closes by like 9 p.m. I was thinking of something that maybe started at 5 and went to like midnight or something like that so all of a sudden I was like laying in bed the other day and I was like a movie theater I need to apply at a movie theater because I love going to the movies and I remember I had friends who worked at the movie theater when I was in high school and so they always got like free tickets to the movies and free soda and popcorn and that's like totally my aesthetic like I'm all over that so I was like I'm gonna apply at the movie theater so I applied interviewed and was hired all in one day it was yesterday um so that was super cool. So I went and had like a quick 30 minute interview with the guy who's super nice. Um, he gave me like the paperwork and he was like, you know, I'd love to have you start soon. Um, can you start this weekend? And I was like, sure, why not? So I think that'll be a really good thing. Um, I know that it might seem weird because I just got like a real teaching job for the fall, but you guys, that's not till the fall. So like, I'm not gonna start making like a salary wage until the fall. Like that's a long time from now to like not have any kind of income. So I just want that extra flow of cash and I've been selling stuff on like Poshmark and stuff too which is like nice but that's not really like dependable for like a steady income you know what I mean so anyways it's just gonna be something fun I get free movie passes and I get to take one guest and my mom loves going to the movies so I'm really excited to tell her that and yeah like I think it's gonna be a really good thing I told him I only want to work like 10 to 15 hours a week max um, until school gets out at least and then I might pick up some more shifts and he was like perfect that's exactly what I'm looking for so um, it'll be like two shifts a week if even that like it might be one shift a week like it's gonna be really chill so um, and if it's not like I could always look for something else in the future if I need to my contour always looks so weird on camera um, but anyway so yes I <laughs> applied interviewed and got hired all yesterday so that was kind of a cool thing um and yeah I just had a really good day yesterday I feel like there was other stuff too but like it was like one thing after another that just went really really well so that was a good feeling so anyways today's gonna be super fun too I've been talking for so long I'm so sorry maybe I'll I'll try to remember to put a little thing in the description box saying like if you want to skip the intro of me talking go to like this part if I forget can somebody do it for me in a comment because I always feel bad when I ramble for a long time at like the first clip you know what I mean but anyways I'm actually doing stuff today so I'm gonna vlog it I'm pumped I have this freshly charged camera battery I have my other two chargers I have two chargers now I have my other two chargers 
charging two batteries so I'm gonna be set for a while hopefully once those charge um, so hopefully this will be a good vlog I'm really excited I hope I want my vlogs to be better I feel like my vlogs are just me talking all the time so I'm hoping that I can show me like doing stuff also I feel like my eye makeup turned out like pretty decent today um, I used the coastal sense revealed palette again I'm obsessed with it seriously guys it's my favorite and then for my crease I use the Lorac unzipped palette for like that really nice color because I just didn't have a color like that in the revealed palette I love that color though isn't that nice it's like a like a pinky dark brown I like it so anyways um, also thanks for all of your comments on the last video about letting me know if I should get my hair and makeup done by somebody I actually reached out to a girl in my sorority who I don't know super well because she just joined but she's really nice um, and I was like hey how would you feel about doing my wedding makeup and she was like yeah girl so we're gonna do a trial this month hopefully and then um, she would potentially do my wedding day makeup so I would pay her but obviously she's not like well not obviously but she isn't like a licensed person um, she's just like cool girl from my sorority so um, I would save a little bit of money there which is nice but I could still like throw a little something at her and probably get her like a gift or something too so also okay who knows about tipping let me know this is getting so long I'm so sorry you guys but if you know anything about wedding tipping like who you tip and how much you tip I've been looking online and I'm so confused because like I guess I tip like the photographer and like the DJ and like literally everybody but I'm like I'm already paying everybody a lot of money so I don't really know like how much do you tip them or do you give them like a gift in lieu of tipping them or do you just say like hey I'm already paying you a lot of money and you get free food at my wedding like that's cool like I just am not really sure so let me know because I think I will do at least like thank you cards and like gifts but I don't know if you're supposed to actually give like a monetary tip as well so hit me up let me know otherwise I'll keep researching online okay so sorry for this super long clip next time you see me I will be with my mama I'm so excited hello friends I'm with mama bear now she has to pee very badly so she's not in the best mood oh my gosh my camera battery's flashing again I just changed it that's annoying okay I might end up vlogging on my phone today then if this dies I thought I was so proud of myself because I grabbed a new battery before I left but Apparently I grabbed a dead one. Um, but we just got to the outlet mall. This is Tanger Outlets in Byron Center, Michigan. And we are on our way, so I might switch over to my phone soon. I apologize, but we made it at least. Yay! Hey friends, so vlogging on my camera, or my phone, hold on, let me just, let me just clean that up a little. Is that any better? Probably not. Um, we're at Old Navy now, and Mama's over there looking at stuff. There she is. We just went to Vera Bradley. I filmed a little clip in there, but I don't know, I don't know if it was any good, but we'll see. Um, but Mom got herself a new um, purse and wallet and then we got a couple like little gift type things so that was really fun the whole store is 50% off and then an extra 30 so that was really cool um, so we're having a lot of fun so far um, my goal in being here is I wanted to look for some stuff at uh, Bath and Body Works but they didn't have any good deals going on so I didn't actually end up getting anything I was thinking of getting some stuff for Melissa's bridal shower that I'm throwing as like um, like prizes, but I just didn't really find anything. So yeah, now we're just in Old Navy kind of poking around. I love Old Navy. It's probably one of my favorite stores, so I love being here. Just looking at all the beautiful things. Like, it's so teachery, you know? Teacher style. Love it. Living for it. Hey there, guys. So it is 10.37 right now. Mama and I are in the car again. I'm vlogging on my phone. I don't know if you can tell, but probably. Um, Anyways, we just finished at the outlet mall. We got there pretty early, that's why we're done already. But yeah, we were there about an hour. It was really fun, even though it's like kind of gross and nasty out right now because it's all snowy. Um, but it was fun. Mom got her purse and wallet and stuff that I talked about already when I was in Old Navy. Um, so yeah, that's really all we got. Like originally we were there for shower stuff, but um, I just didn't really see anything that I thought would be a good fit. So we're actually going to a different mall right now um, because I want to stop by Lush to get a couple of things potentially and um, also it's just kind of fun we don't really go over there a whole lot and mom has the day off work and everything so we thought it would be fun to go over that way so we'll probably get like lunch and stuff while we're over there and then once we come back to town so we probably won't stay out there very long because once we come back to town then um, we're going to pick up my wedding dress still today I forgot about that I still have to pick up my wedding dress so 
super exciting stuff. So anyways, we'll check in a little bit later. Hello friends. So it's been a while since I saw you last and there's a reason for that. So this vlog is taking a turn for the worse, I feel like. Um, I don't remember when I vlogged last. I think it was, um, well I know it was when I was with my mom, but I don't remember exactly. I think we were in the car or something. But anyways, I went to go pick up my dress and I was really excited and um, I kept saying like the whole way there, I'm like, I'm going to get to try on my dress in my size. Like it's going to be so great to just see how it fits on me because the sample size that I tried on was like way, way, way too big for me. It was like way too big for me. And so they had to clip it so much so I couldn't even see what the back looked like really um, on me because it was like clipped so much. And I don't know, like I was just so excited to try it on in my size. And so we got there and I got my dress and they're like, okay, go try it on. And I was trying to zip it up and I'm like, something is weird. Like it's not zipping like at all on me. I'm like, is the zipper broken? And then I got it like zipped a little bit and I was like, oh my gosh, this dress is not my size. Like, it was not even close. It was way too tight. And I couldn't even get it, like, halfway zipped up. Like, it wasn't even close. And so I called my mom in, and I'm like, Mom, like, this isn't zipping on me at all. And she's like, what do you mean? So she's trying to zip it up, and she's like, oh, my gosh, this is not your size. So the bridal lady came over, like, the bridal shop lady. And she's like, oh, let me try it. Like, that's weird. Um, have you gained weight? And I was like, well, like, I always, like, consistently throughout my whole life like I always gain some weight in the winter and then I always lose it in the summer like I just fluctuate a little bit and it's because like in the summer I walk to the beach all the time and I um like I just do more in the summer so I always always like lose weight in the summer and the thing is, is like I got my dress in October so it was like shortly after the summer so I guess I like would have been a little bit thinner then but like not a lot like I just weighed myself the other day so I weighed myself this summer when because I got um I sprained my ankle really bad I can't remember if I ever even vlogged about it but I like sprained my ankle super bad this past summer like right before Chris and I got engaged like a like a month before probably and I remember my weight from then and then I just weighed myself last week because I was curious if I gained weight and I weighed the exact same amount like not a like not one pound more not one pound less like the exact same amount so I mean it could be that the scale was off too like it wasn't on the same scale but I, I looked at the scale and I was like oh I'm surprised I haven't gained any weight like usually I gain weight in the winter um so I remember thinking I was like surprised and then my dress went zip and the lady's like well let me take your measurements again so she took my measurements and I was like a few inches bigger like consistently everywhere which is weird because when I gain weight I always gain it like in my thighs and my hips and like my butt like I always gain weight there but she was trying to tell me that like my bust has gained like three inches and I'm like like I, I know what bra size I wear and like I'm not saying she was wrong or anything like that but like it just didn't feel right to me I guess um, and also I was just really bummed because I'm like my dress doesn't fit me <laughs> so I did I had a quick tear or two in the changing room by myself and I pulled myself together and I said you know what I love my body um, I'm way more confident now than I was like when I was under 100 pounds in high school I used to be really really insecure with my body and I haven't really talked about that a lot on my channel but I used to um, diet restrictively in high school and I was very very insecure with my body very uncomfortable with my body and I'm just not that way anymore at all I love my body I love my curves and I love that um, I don't know I just I love my body and I'm very happy with it and I love like I tease myself on my body sometimes like I'll be like oop I got a little food baby and stuff like that but like I do that in like a loving way like I don't ever say like oh I need to diet or I need to lose weight like people have even asked me like oh are you working out a lot for the wedding and I'm like no like Chris has liked me this way for years why would I change you know so I think it's important to be healthy and like live a healthy lifestyle which I don't necessarily do um, but I do think it's important but I don't think it's imperative that like I'm losing weight for my wedding like that's just not something that seemed important to me but when my dress went zip I was pretty upset because mostly just because I was so excited to see it on um, and just like experience like walking out of the dressing room with my beautiful perfect dress and I was hoping I wouldn't have to get like hardly any alteration so I was just so bummed because we got it up like most of the way but it wasn't comfortable like the whole bodice is really stiff um, so Anyways, the lady in the salon was like, don't worry about it. Like, you know what? We can take the seams out right here and the seamstress can totally make it fit or we could add a corset if you want, which I don't want. Um, just, I think that's beautiful on some people, but I don't want a corset on me. 
it's just not my style but she was giving me all these options but I'm like no I'm just gonna lose the weight and she looked at me and she's like well don't starve yourself like we just will fix it but the thing is is like I can gain and lose weight very quickly like I fluctuate um, between like a couple different weights and I always have like that's how I've literally always been so I'm not nervous about it I just need to like stop drinking so much soda and like going out for fast food so much you know what I mean so like I'm not worried about it I'm sure by the time I get married like the dress will fit and I'm hoping even by the time I have my like um alterations done it will fit but it was just such a bummer because I was so excited to try it on and um, whatever. And like if she needs to let out the dress a little bit, like she can. That's not a big deal, the seamstress. But I was just so bummed because I'm like, I like I, I don't feel like I've gained weight. And I, I haven't like gained weight according to the scales. You know what I mean? So I'm like, how did this happen? And I have not been eating great lately, let me tell ya. And I just, um, right before I went in, we had just eaten lunch and I ate a really big lunch and that wasn't a good idea. And um, yeah, I just like, I haven't been eating great lately. I really haven't. So I'm not like completely surprised, but I was just surprised in the moment because I was not expecting that at all. Um, like at all at all so it was kind of horrific it was kind of embarrassing too because the lady in the bridal salon like that was like her first reaction she's like oh well have you gained weight and I was like I don't know like I'm, I, I don't think about it like I'm not watching my weight you know like I don't know I was like so embarrassed though and I know I shouldn't be because like I'm sure that happens to a lot of people but I was just like so embarrassed in the moment but Anyways, um, I have my dress now. It's in the office, hanging up in the closet, but I have not tried it. I mean, I tried it on, but I haven't gotten it on yet. So when I got home, I worked out and I drank some lemon water and I was like, you know what, it's gonna be fine. Um, yeah, and I prayed about it and I was like, God, please let me fit my dress. So it's gonna be fine. Like, I'm really not stressed about it now. I feel pretty good about it. I just need to cut out a couple things out of my diet and stop, you know, going out to eat so much and stuff. I mean, my mom and I go out to eat every single Sunday after church, and usually it's not, like, a healthy restaurant. And also, I've just, like, been eating more junk during the week, too. Um, so I just need to stop doing that, and that's going to be fine. So I'm not too worried, but I was just a little bit sad in the moment. So that's why I haven't vlogged in a while. It's, like, almost 4 o'clock right now. And I've been home for a while. I got home probably around like 2. And I've just been, well, I worked out for like an hour. And then I've just been watching like YouTube videos and relaxing and stuff. So that's basically what I've been up to. But I did just want to tell you guys kind of my sad story. So it's fine. Life is good. But I gained a little weight, y'all. Like, it's fine. I'm a real human. And I'm sure you guys know that from my channel because I don't pretend to be perfect ever. But, <laughs> um, yeah, that's my life. So if that's happened to you, don't feel bad. This girl's going through the same thing. So it's going to be fine. Life is good. Um, so, yeah. So in just a little bit, I'm going to go to the movie theater and sign off on some paperwork because they want me to start training this weekend. So I'm going to do that, I think, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights. Um, which will be good because then I have some money coming in soon. So life is good. So I will see you guys a little bit later. Hello friends. So coming at you clean face now. Also my voice might be a little echoey and I have the dryer going in the back. So there's just like a few things going on. But it's later at night now. It's like past 7. Chris and I went to his mom's house for dinner. We had taco salad. It was really, really yummy. And then Chris had steak. But I just didn't really like steak that much. So I had taco salad. And now we're back. And I have my lemon water and my little fishy turvis. Isn't that so cute? This is like one of my favorite turvises, and I feel like it hasn't made an appearance in a vlog in a very long time. But like, isn't that just so funny? I just love it. It's my favorite one. I always see this one too. Like, I feel like a lot of people have this one, but it just cracks me up. I always think it's so funny. Like, sometimes I'll be sitting in class or something with this one, and I just start laughing to myself. Like, that's who I am as a person. But anyway, so yeah, lemon water. And then now I'm gonna do a quick face mask. Um, I'm working on cleaning up some stuff downstairs. I have like a ton of stuff for like bat bachelorette parties coming up, bridal showers coming up, stuff like that. Like I just have a ton of stuff that I've collected and it's taking over my house. So I need to organize it and hopefully put it in like the storage room or something, I guess for now. But I'm gonna put a mask on first and then I'm gonna work on that stuff. So. I will do the mask now. Let's speed it up and pretend that I'm actually putting it on my face that quickly. <coughs> a couple of my favorites. I love the Freeman mask. So I don't know, should I use the blue one? Or should I use the yellow one, the greenish one? I feel like today I need more of the anti-stress 
with the little situation we had earlier. So I think I'm gonna use the anti-stress one. I think um, it's around 10 a.m. and I'm all ready to go my hair didn't curl very nice this morning I don't know what that piece is doing um, but I'm all ready to go I am going to run a few errands quick this morning I need to go to Plato's closet still because I've been needing to take clothes in there like forever and I keep meaning to but not getting there <laughs> So I'm going to run there. And then also I'm going to um, mail a couple packages that I have sitting beside me here. And then um, what else do I still need to do? I'm going to go back to the bridal salon, I think, and have them take my measurements again. Because, okay, so I tried on my dress again this morning, like not having eaten at all. Like I literally could feel my ribs. Like I feel like I haven't gained weight. And I'm thinking that maybe they ordered me the wrong size potentially because I remember the lady saying yesterday she's like oh we probably should have ordered you one size bigger based on your measurements so I feel like if it's not my fault like if I haven't gained weight um, I feel like maybe they should pay for the alterations or they need to help me figure out like what I'm doing so I'm gonna go in and just have them retake my measurements because the lady who took my measurements yesterday who said I like gained like two or three inches everywhere she um even said too, she's like, yeah, I'm not always the best at taking measurements. Like, let me um, let me try to make sure I'm doing it how they tell me to do it. So I got the feeling maybe she was like a newer employee or something. So I don't know. I'm really frustrated still because when I tried on my dress this morning, I realized that like I could feel my ribs first of all, and I'm like the where it's tight is like right on my ribs, like at the very top of my ribs right here. That's the part that's not fitting. And I'm like, even if I lose weight there, like I don't think it's gonna zip. Um, because the thing is, is like, yeah, I can lose some weight, but my my body's just like made like this too. Like even when I was really really thin in high school, like I still had, like I hold all my weight in my like thighs and my butt. So like when I gain weight, like since high school, I've gained a ton of weight in my butt and my thighs um but like I really haven't gained a lot like in my chest or in my waist like I just don't gain a lot of weight there that's not where I carry my weight so like I've gained a little bit since high school but like overall since I graduated high school I've gained like 20 pounds like I've gained quite a bit um just in like having a different lifestyle and stuff mostly because like I eat a lot more than I used to and I, be I used to be a lot more self-conscious about my um, physique so I used to really restrict what I put in my body and stuff and it wasn't like a healthy relationship with food at all um, so anyways I used to be a lot more conscious of my weight when I was in high school so I literally when I graduated high school I was under 100 pounds like I was so small um, and it didn't look healthy for a long time so and it really wasn't healthy so but the thing is is like even when I was that small like I had around the same size like upper half um, it's mostly like the bottom half of me that has really like spread if that makes sense um, so I just don't know I'm, I'm so frustrated still and I know like last night I think in one of my clips that I filmed I can't remember but I think I said like oh it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay and like it is gonna be okay it's gonna be totally fine but I'm a little bit worried because this morning I felt like it should have zipped and it wasn't zipping at all. So it's quite a bit, it's like probably that much fabric at the top, maybe like that much, that isn't zipping at all. So I don't know. And it's the part around my like ribs and my like upper waist, not even like my waist because your waist is like your smallest part. So like right above that where my like ribs are, um, so like right under my chest that's where it's not zipping and that just doesn't make sense to me like I just don't understand so I'm gonna go get remeasured this morning and just go in and talk to them and also I accidentally left the business card for the seamstress yesterday because it was like such a whirlwind of emotions and stuff as I was leaving I just wasn't thinking straight so I didn't grab the card that she was giving to me I think I must have left it on the counter or maybe I left it in my mom's car or something I'm not really sure but I don't have it so I need that to call and try to make alterations but the thing is is like the earliest the seamstress can probably probably see me as like three weeks to a month from now 
and I'm just worried guys like it's gonna work out and it's gonna be just fine and I'm definitely praying about it and I'm not like it didn't keep me up last night or anything like I'm not super stressed or anything but I am a little bit more concerned now because after trying on the dress this morning I'm like even if I lose weight I'm not gonna lose the weight in my waist like that like that's not where I gain and lose weight um, and as soon as I lose weight it's gonna be like in my legs more or in my butt like that's just where I fluctuate you know so I don't know have you guys gone through anything like this or do you know anyone who has I guess just like let me know in a comment below because it's kind of scary you guys like I just don't really know what I'm doing it's a really expensive dress I mean not really expensive compared to like say yes to the dress or something like that but like it was over a thousand dollars and it's already paid in full like I um it was all paid for like when I got like when I first tried it on like it was just all paid for that day so it's not even like I can be like yeah, like yesterday I couldn't have said like, oh, I'm not taking this dress. I'm not paying for it. It doesn't fit. Like, it's already paid for. Like, it's already my dress. So, I don't know. I'm kind of flustered. Um, but it's going to be totally fine. I'm hoping I'll feel a little bit better after going today. And, like, maybe they'll make it right. I don't really know. Because I don't really know if it's their fault or my fault. Because they're telling me that I've gained weight and I've gained three inches everywhere. Um, and I just don't know if that's true. So, I'm hoping that maybe I can get somebody more experienced to take my measurements today. Otherwise, maybe I'll go to another place to get my measurements done. So, anyways, I need to stop talking though because if I'm going to get everywhere that I need to go today, I need to leave now. So, I will see you guys a little bit later. Also, I want to show you my eye makeup a second. This is the combination of the Coastal Sense Revealed Palette and then also the Lorac, Lorac um, Unzipped Palette in my crease again. But I did it just a little bit differently today, and I think it looks pretty nice. Also, my lashes look pretty long, so that's good. But anyways, I will see you guys a little bit later. Hey there, guys. So my hair is a little bit messed up. Um, I just took my stuff into Play-Doh's. I actually had to wait a really long time. Not a really long time, but like a while to get my stuff. And so I ended up shopping around a little bit. So I found some cute stuff, so I'll show you that when I get back home um, in a little bit. And then also I went and I mailed my packages and now I'm sitting outside of the bridal salon. I called them, um, well they returned my call. I called them like early this morning when they weren't open yet. So they returned my call and said to come on in and they're gonna remeasure me. So I'm gonna get remeasured and I'm just like, I don't know, I'm just like all, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. Like I just have a little bit of anxiety about going in, I guess. Um, the parking lot's like completely full too. So I don't know if it's really busy or it's like right by a restaurant too. So it might be that the restaurant's really busy. That's what I'm hoping for. But I'm gonna get remeasured and then just ask a couple questions and also grab the business card of the um, seamstress that they recommend. So I'm gonna go in and do that. Wish me luck. Hey there guys, so I'm back home now and had my measurements retaken. Um, the consensus is my waist has grown, she said, um, but my bust hasn't and my hips haven't. So just my waist, I guess I've gained weight in um, is what they're saying. I also asked if there was a possibility that the measurements were taken incorrectly and she didn't say yes or no, but instead she said, that I signed off on my measurements basically like when I got my dress that was like part of the contract and like I had to sign all this paperwork when we got the dress and that's one of the things that I signed off on was like yes I want this size um so even if they did do the measurements wrong or they did order the wrong size or whatever it may be it still falls on me which makes sense I mean I signed all of the documents but it does kind of stink because um I just really don't feel like I've gained that much weight and it's like the top part literally is like this like it just won't zip and I just feel like even if I lose weight I just don't know if it's going to be able to zip still so I'm going to keep working out though I worked out twice already today like mini workouts though just like quick like two different 30 minute workouts so like an hour total so not even that much um so I worked out before I went anywhere this morning. Jack is trying to climb into my Play-Doh's closet bag, so let's not do that, Jack. Um, also, I just had a package come in from Poshmark too, so I thought I would show you guys what I got from Poshmark as well. So I ordered this dress from Poshmark, but it's originally from Mod Cloth. It's super, super cute. It actually still has the tags on it. This is the brand. 
right there and I thought maybe I could wear this to one of my bridal showers so I'm gonna try it on and see what it looks like on but I really wanted something with some sort of like sleeve I really wanted long sleeves but I couldn't find any so this was like the closest thing I found I got a really good deal on this too and the seller did a really cute job of like wrapping it up all nice and everything I love Poshmark so then I got <laughs> Um, I just stuck this in here, but I got my shirts for my movie theater job. Um, I got two shirts and a hat, so I just stuck that in my bag because it was still in my car. But now, stuff from Play-Dohs. I first got this super, super cute lavender Pico top, and I got this because, first of all, it's Pico, which is a really good brand, um, but second of all, it was only $5, so I only spent $5 on a Pico top, which I thought was really cool, and it's literally so soft. Like, Pico tops are super stretchy and soft and just really, really nice, so I thought this would be good for this spring, and I can wear this while I'm teaching, too, so I thought that would be good. Then I've been needing another pair of jeans because at school we have jean days like twice a week at least, but then we had it three days a week in all of March, so we just have all these jean days. Um, so I wanted a light wash pair of jeans, so these are from Massimo, and I got these for $9, which I thought was a really good deal. So that's what they look like there. $9, and I thought they were really cute. They're like a skinny fit, and then I just like cuffed the bottom because that's how I would wear them. And yeah, I thought those were super cute. And then the last thing that I got, oh no, just kidding, two more things. Um, I also found this dress, which I thought could be cute for a bridal shower because I have, you know, like I said, a couple of those coming up. That's the back, hold on. Here's the front. Um, I think that this might have been from Francesca's originally because I've seen really similar ones at Francesca's. Um, but it's actually from the brand Minty Go Go, which is kind of random. I don't really know. But it was only $11, which I thought was a really, really good deal. And I had money from selling my clothes to Poshmark, or not to Poshmark, to um, Play-Dohs. So I used like some of the money that I made because I made like 60 something dollars. And then I got four things for like 30 something dollars. So I still had money left over, if that makes sense. Like I still got money back. Um, the last thing that I got was just this hat. This is a Red Wings hat. It's hockey. Um, and this was only $6. And I got it because Chris and I have been going to more and more hockey games lately. And I never know what to wear. So I thought it would be nice to just have like a cute little hat. I actually didn't even try it on there. But it's cute. It's red. It'll work. Um, so I always say that I want something cute to wear when I go. And I never have anything. So now I will. I might need to tighten it though. It's a little big. So... Anyways, um, overall it was like 30 something dollars for four things, which I did not think was bad at all. Jack, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you doing that? What on earth? Do you need help getting out? Oh my goodness, this cat though. Do you need help, babe? Your head is in the armhole. Get out, get out, get out please. There you go. That's why we don't play around in bags, little kitten. Um, but anyways, yeah, got a pile full of stuff now, so I'm gonna go throw all that into my hamper so I can wash it. And Melissa's coming over probably at like three or four-ish. I think we're gonna leave for all-time low at like 4.30. Right now it's like, I don't know, one something, I think, maybe two. Let me check. It is... 138 so I just have some criminal minds playing I just made myself a little snack I never really had lunch um, because I had like breakfast and then I left um, so then I just had a quick little like lunch snack but I wasn't really super hungry so I just ate something small um, but yes here is Jack enjoying my new purchases he's so cute please don't bite me he's a little ferocious so anyways, I'm going to take care of this stuff, and then I'm going to watch more Criminal Minds, and that's about it. I might do something else, but I'm not really sure what yet, so we'll see. Okay, check in with you later. Jack, why are you back in the bag? Why are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> why? I just got you unstuck. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need help? I can help you. Oh, kitten. Here. You gotta stop getting yourself stuck, baby. 
Hello friends, so guess who's here? Melissa's here, which makes a lot of sense because I said she was coming. So here she is. Should we do a quick OOTD? Well, why did you start this when I was eating the gummy worm? Sorry, I started this when Melissa was eating gummy worm. We're about to leave for all time low. I have on, I need to pull my leggings. I have on a um, little long sleeve shirt from Target and I have it knotted here because I was trying to be kind of trendy. And then I have on these green olive crop legging things. <laughs> um, I got these in a yoga box. I have like no idea what brand they are. Can you read my brand? Um, Is it in there? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like R-U-H-E. R-U-H-E. All right, know. you heard it here first. And then I'm gonna wear my fanny pack. And my Converse. I'm literally just wearing this green shirt and black jeans. We kind and, of match. And avocado socks. We kind <laughs> of match a little bit. I know, I actually green. thought about that when I Cute. changed. We should, take a, um, we should take a picture. Oh, we don't have any photos together, like ever. We the really last time, we never take pictures together. The last time we took a picture together was at the choir concert. <coughs> That's upsetting. I know. But yeah, we're gonna go soon. We gotta pick up our tickets and then, I feel like the lighting's better this way. Here we go, look at that. Okay, wait, get in, we can do a thumbnail. I, hold on, I always worry that I cut off your head. Let me just. It's cause I'm cute. so tall. Um, um, it's true. Like six inches taller. <laughs> that I never really thought about that. Well, aren't you five are, one? I'm like yeah. five six or five seven, depends yeah, on the Yeah, and day. I'm five one like on a good day. So anyways, um, we're gonna leave. We're gonna go get the tickets, and then we need to run. Um, I have a hat that I, mean, I need to get to the sorority house. I'm gonna run that there. And then we're just gonna kill time until it's time for the concert. So I am ready, are you pumped? I'm pumped. I'm a little like, I wonder what it's gonna I'm be I'm a little like. self-conscious. I don't Why? Feel, no, because I'm not like a true emo gal anymore. Oh yeah, not that I ever was. But. Melissa realized this is like her fifth all-time low concert that she's been to. It's true. I've it's actually like my been third, to a I lot think. of concerts. Yeah, you have. Okay, woo! Spring break! Hi friends! So I'm sitting in Kim's car by myself right now. So I decided why not just, you know, film a clip so Kim can find it later. But she's picking up our tickets right now and she's parked in a staff lot, which you're not allowed to do that until 6.30 and right now it's 5.11. So I'm just kind of like hoping that nobody comes up here and asks me why um i'm sitting in this car that doesn't have a staff parking pass um but it's fine so i just wanted to say hello and that's pretty much it we're gonna have fun tonight i'm excited goodbye all right melissa and i are getting food now while well, we're like at a restaurant and here we are our food just came yummy we figured we'd be more pleasant with full tummies before all time low so i got a quesadilla and it looks so good melissa what'd you get i got a french dip because i'm a middle-aged man <laughs> perfect no my mom likes eating those yeah the fries here are amazing let's see your first reaction right they're so good you have I'm so to excited for this them. it's like nice and crispy just like i like I'm excited. Okay guys, filming a super quick vlog clip because I just went in, we waited in line for quite a while, like half an hour, and they sent me back to my car because I couldn't bring my camera in, and also I can't bring my pepper spray in. So they wanted to confiscate my things. So I'm back at the car dropping off my stuff really quick, so taking this off. Um, I haven't been to a concert in so long, so I didn't even think about it. Let me just double check to make sure I don't have anything else potentially hazardous in my fanny pack. I don't think I do. But I'm going to leave my camera in my car because I don't want it to get confiscated. So anyways, if I do film any vlog clips while we're in there, they will be on my phone. So, just wanted to check in really quick and tell you that if you are going to attend a concert soon, make sure you know what you're doing, unlike me. So, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Hello. We're having a concert. We realized we're not very cool, though. I was, like, doing the dances, doing the clapping, but it didn't go very well, so. Too tall. Yeah, here we are. We took a really cute pic in the bathroom, though. Go like it on Insta if you haven't already. <laughs> Shameless way. plug.
Time.